Okay. Um, I would like to give you a short update on the Chico Standing Committee Plato. Um, this is on behalf of uh, the co-chair Benjamin Menel, who is potentially online uh, joining us, and all the Plato members. So as we have a lot of new colleagues, I think, also within this group, I put here at the beginning an overview, what are really the goals of Plato and what are we doing. Um, Others here in the audience might know this already. So the overall goal of this standing committee is to fulfill the GIGOS requirement for accuracy and stability of the reference frame and look how we can uh, do this. And there are several possibilities, several weaknesses, and uh, so that uh, the, the group should also evaluate the impact uh, on the accuracy and the stability of future uh, reference frames. And there are several questions in this context that need uh, to be answered. So how can the global reference frame benefit from uh, improved system performance? Uh, so in the sense of uh, what legacy stations uh, do they degrade our reference frame or are the new systems uh, uh, really contribute a big uh, improvement. Um, yeah, what could we benefit from denser ground networks? Um, how many uh, collocation sites do we need? Uh, do we need more or is it already sufficient what we have? Um, how can the reference frame benefit from including other already existing uh, observation data that is not yet used for reference frame computation, ITRF? Um, what about including space-based collocations, not only ground-based collocations, and uh, how we could benefit uh, from any new observing, uh, observation concepts? And so to answer these questions, uh, the groups uh, of, uh, of Plato uh, applied uh, basically two methods. So uh, categorized in simulation studies, mainly for assessing new concepts. Of course, you don't have data yet, so you need to do simulations. And the other uh, methods are uh, applying advanced processing uh, strategies uh, based on real data that is already available but not yet used for instance for ITRF and look how this uh, data could, uh, yeah, could improve the products and in general improve the analysis and combination strategies. So since the last GIGOS days we had in uh, November in Munich uh, last year, uh, several new projects have been started within uh, the PLATO group. Uh, also new uh, institutions joined uh, PLATO, which is always quite, quite nice. Um, during EGU this year, we did not have a specific session on uh, Plato and simulation activities, but several Plato-related presentations in various sessions uh, were given by the members. And uh, yeah, so these, as we have uh, already now meetings in person, uh, so encouraging uh, additional groups to join also the Plato activities when uh, we see, okay, they are doing some nice projects in which could fit to the Plato group. Uh, these activities are also uh, going on. And another activity I mentioned already in, uh, during EGU at the GIGOS coordinating board meeting that I will uh, step down from chairing the Plato group and fortunately uh, Alexander Kim from DGFI will take over uh, the, to chair uh, the group. Um, he could not join the GIGOS days here but uh, I think he's online participating. And so, yeah, uh, I'm quite happy that he will take over. He already computed quite some years to the Plato group with simulations uh, on, uh, on SLR. 
um, yeah, some uh, overview, what kind of uh, simulations uh, and analysis and which groups uh, are participating there. Uh, the first uh, table is uh, the part of the yeah, simulations, so possible extension of SLR networks. Uh, we have um, uh, simulation results there. Uh, also on the SLR network performance, the Rotslav group who just joined uh, recently uh, got some projects there. Uh, also simulations on additional spherical satellites. Um, what is the impact there? Uh, we also have the Hanover group contributing uh, on, on LLR. There are uh, several activities going on. Um, then on the GNSS side, what about future GNSS constellations, what they could contribute? Uh, and a big part, I will come to this later on, uh, are simulations on dedicated collocation satellites, so mainly Genesis, and this I will uh, show in the uh, further slide. Uh, and then also combining uh, VLBI transmitter and GNSS on, uh, so on Galileo satellites, there were also several uh, studies going on. Um, on the processing activities with already existing data, uh, we have uh, GNSS LEO integrated processing strategies, then uh, some studies related to VLBI, so how can I optimize scheduling, uh, especially for Regos improve the reference frame? Well, how do we best uh, go on to integrate the Vigos, so the new uh, telescope, into the ASIC legacy networks um, to get both connected and not split up into uh, two networks? Um, oh, we do several studies on improved analysis of 24-hour VLBI sessions because for those of you who are not that familiar with VLBI, the scheduling of these 24 hours is somehow strange, let's say. It's not midnight to midnight, it's something else. So um, uh, it's a good, uh, good uh, way to think about whether there is a uh, room for improvement. Uh, in the same direction, EOP parameterization, can we do it better, especially for SLR, as we do it now? Um, then studies on combination at observation level, not on parameter, on neck level, and advanced weighting methods. So I mentioned already satellite collocations, and I would say one highlight just in the past months or past year, uh, was uh, Genesis. So Genesis is a mission proposal uh, to have a collocation satellite with all four techniques. So that means including also a VLBI transmitter in addition to the classical satellite uh, methods, GNSS, uh, SLR and, and DORIS. And uh, yeah, you might know we had several attempts in uh, via NASA, via ESA with GRASP and eGRASP, uh, which were not successful. And now the Genesis uh, proposal uh, is successful in that way that the ESA ministerial conference last year in November accepted this mission. And I think this is a really great uh, opportunity for the geodetic community now to have such kind of uh, satellite and many PLATO members were already before involved in uh, simulations for the previous proposals, uh, GRASP, eGRASP and uh, also of course then Genesis. Um, as a result there's a white, white paper that was published uh, this year and of course the preparation work for this missing uh, mission is uh, still ongoing there are a lot of open questions um, especially how we really organize then uh, the the data uh, processing to get for instance a next uh, itrf and i think yeah there will be also many many group members within plato to work on this uh, great mission hopefully that's it from my side. Thanks.